In this session, we are going to configure Data Lake House in order to replicate data from Bullhorn into Snowflake. Bullhorn is a CRM tool for staffing and recruiting firms. So first we need to set up a connection to Bullhorn. And so we will select Bullhorn from the list. We will give this a user-friendly name. And this name is only visible within Data Lake House and can be changed at any time. The target schema, this is when it comes to the name of the schema within Snowflake. Here we will prefix Then we will enter in our client ID. We'll enter in this client secret. This information and how to get this information within Bullhorn, please refer to docs.datalakehouse.io and all of the instructions and steps are listed in that helpful site. So next we need to authorize our when we authorize our account, we will see a login to Bullhorn. And from here, we will put in our account information, Bullhorn account information. And we'll see that we have our connection created. One thing that we need to do is we need to load the metadata, all of the entity and the columns in those entities and to load that into Data Lake House. And so we very quickly do that. And after a brief period, we'll see that the schemas has now been loaded or the metadata has been loaded. So now what we need to do is go and create our target connection to Snowflake. So we had, went ahead and did this in advance. And so you can see, for those that are familiar with Snowflake, a lot of standard information about the, the account URL, your database, the warehouse, the user, and the role that you use to connect. So now that we have the source and target, we need to go and create the sync bridge. And the sync bridge is the vehicle that actually connect, does the connection and then also does the connection to Snowflake and it handles the frequency of how often you're going to replicate data. So we're going to create a new bridge. We're going to sync a bullhorn data that we had set up that source connection earlier to our target of Snowflake. And we're going to set in our example to Chicago, really from a time zone perspective. And instead of every 24 hours, let's change this to every one hour. And so now that we're saved the sync bridge, we can see that it's ready to go. Well, it's not going to run for one hour because that's what we set the timer to. If you'd like to run the bridge right away to get data versus waiting, click actions and then run sync bridge right now. And so the sync bridge would immediately connect to Bullhorn. And because this is the first time it's connecting to Bullhorn, it's going to pull all of your data over. Subsequent runs will pull over new records and change records from the source. So we can see that our, our timer is running. We can also go look at logs and monitoring to see more details of what's going on behind the scenes. And as this connection, our bridge continues to run, more and more log information will be written to the log. And within the log file or the log and monitoring area, we're able to see all the log entries. The most important one that we look for in this particular instance is the indication that the bridge is done running. And we see that by the green flag and the done and end. Another way to look at and to know that the bridge is done running is to go look at the information, the bridge itself. And here we can see how long the bridge ran for and how long it's been completed. We also see the indication that this bridge is set to run hourly. But more importantly, we want to go look in Snowflake in order to see that the data has been landed. And we go into Snowflake 
and we go into the database that we had set up in the target connection. And then we go to the schema, remember the schema prefix that we created earlier in that source connection. We go and find the list of tables that are created. We can see by default we bring in the most important uh, entities. You can add those additional entities depending upon your depth of using Bullhorn. These being the, the core uh, entities, which naturally translate into tables, we can see that the data is here. We can see how much data is here for the number of records. And on an hourly basis, data will be replicated into Snowflake and only data that's changed in Bullhorn. So any new records that were created, records that were updated will flow into Snowflake. And so from here, you can build out your analytic data model or just a dimensional model and even enrich the Bullhorn data with data from your other sources uh, in order to provide even more valuable insight into your overall data set. So in summary, we looked at creating a connector to Bullhorn, a target connection to Snowflake, and then the sync bridge, which allowed to set up the replication along with a schedule for that replication. And we validated and saw that the data is in true being landed in Snowflake. Thank you for watching this session. Please check out our other sessions for more information.